Well, welcome to the virtual tour of the Crips School. My name's Nicholas Dyer, I'm the headmaster of the school, and I look forward to narrating you around. Well, we start our virtual tour in the school reception, which was completely reconfigured. And as you walk around, you'll see some of the rich history of the school. For example, the portrait of our founders, John and Joan Cook, who founded the school in the 16th century our houses, our five school houses, and probably most importantly in the crush hall, the area around that large table, we have our two war memorials that commemorate the loss of 136 of our Crip students during the First and Second World Wars, and we remember them in our annual remembrance service each year. We've got a culture of praise and reward behaviour and effort and conduct and commitment to charity, for example. And you can see that lots of trophies have been donated to the school over the years and they're awarded at our annual speech day each year held in September. So along this corridor we have our science department's laboratories and all our students really enjoy their science from year seven all the way through to the sixth form. Uh, there's lots of fun experiments going on and many of our students progress on to study A-level biology, chemistry or physics and then proceed on to study subjects such as medicine, biomedical science, veterinary science, physics and chemistry at university and then go on and progress into careers in those and other related disciplines. At the CRIP we're determined to equip all our young people with the skills that are need for their future lives and our computing department at school plays a key role in that so all, all our students will learn coding from year seven and many students then choose to study computer science at GCSE and A-level and indeed last year and over the last few years many of our A-level computer scientists have gone on to either apprenticeships with companies who are researching computer science will go on to study computer science at university and it's a real growth area uh, and it's an area in which we intend to grow further at the Crip School over the next few years. So we're now going to visit the what we call the DART area of the school which is the design, art and technology side of the school and this is about the development of creativity amongst our students and, and design uh, and getting them to do things that are practical as well in our, in our workshops and in the food technology room. So all students in Key Stage 3 will study art and design technology, textiles and then they can choose to study one or more of those subjects at GCSE and A Level 2 and I'm delighted each year that a number of students go on to study for art foundation courses, go on to architecture and other design related degree and apprenticeship opportunities. So within each department there is a focus on technology, so in art they're using technology to help in their art and design courses and technology is integrated into design technology. We've got a lot of technical uh, apparatus that they can use, 3D printers and there's the laser cutter and there we've got a 4D router as well that students and teachers use to create all sorts of objects and it helps them with their project work at GCSE and A-level as well. So for our A-level and GCSE art students and indeed our design students as well, we created spaces for them to carry out their own research and to spend time, as they would if they're at university for example, on their pieces of artwork. And that's really important in developing independent learning skills and the students also enjoy being with other students to be creative together I think in those areas. There are areas around the school that students can go to, particularly our senior students, for private study, for relaxation, and younger students can also go to areas to read and enjoy themselves and to have a bit of fun as well. So that's one of, I think, the great features of the Crip School. There's lots of nooks and crannies, so to speak, where they can go and learn and, and relax uh, and develop uh, those crucial friendships that do last them a, a lifetime. We were delighted in 2016 when we opened this brand new engineering block that contains our physics and maths department, but we've also got a lot of technology in this area. We've got an engineering room where students come in and they can design, use our 3D printers, uh, and uh, a particular focus there is our commitment to F1 in schools, which we take part in each year with the students 
design and build and print a car that they race in local, regional and indeed national competitions. And of course the maths department and physics department have integrated the use of iPads into their teaching and so it's another aspect of the growth of technology here at the Crip School. We think the foundation of our success here at the Crip School is our commitment to providing outstanding pastoral care for all students and one of our rooms is set aside as what we call our pastoral care room which students can go to if they're feeling anxious for example or need extra support from one of our three pastoral support workers in school and we also have a counselling service at the school and that is I think one of the most important features of the school and students certainly welcome that as do I know parents as well. We believe that every student's education should be broad and we've got a very strong humanities department that comprises of history and geography. We also offer politics at A level, we offer philosophy and ethics and religious studies. Um, so these departments ensure that peoples get to learn about their past, about their environment and of course the key ideas and religions that shape our world today. Every student at the school will study one or more modern foreign languages. At the moment we offer French, German and Spanish and many students decide to take that on as GCSE and at A level as well. And we believe it's hugely important that students not only learn another foreign language, but also understand the richness of the culture of the country language that they're studying. And there's opportunities for them to visit countries overseas, including exchange programs. And through their study of other languages, students enrich their cultural capital as well. English is the building block of our curriculum here and every student will need to acquire good oral and written communication skills and so uh, of course pupils enjoy English as well and they enjoy studying English literature which we offer of course at GCSE and A level. They'll study texts not only from authors from the British Isles but authors from overseas as well and it's vitally important I think that people enjoy reading and reading and literacy is at the heart of our curriculum at the Crip School. You may notice on some of the classroom doors that there's a little whiteboard and on those whiteboards are what the teachers are reading at the moment and, and we believe that you know if teachers are seen to be reading they'll inspire our students to read as well. So that culture of reading uh, permeates uh, all aspects of our school life. Welcome to our Sixth Form Centre. It's named after the school's founders, John and Joan Cook, and it gives the Sixth Formers a space to study, to relax, to socialise. But it's also at the heart of the school as well, because we want our Sixth Formers to be part of the wider school community, to act as role models and mentors to our younger pupils as well. So these are the smaller teaching rooms in the Cook Centre and they are mainly for sixth form students and we've got rooms set aside for economics and business studies, psychology and sociology and also we teach politics in these rooms as well which are mainly studied by our sixth formers. Welcome to the Crip School Library. It serves a number of functions in school. It acts as a area for sixth form students to carry out independent private study in during the course of the week, but also an area where younger students come and other students as well to pick up books, to read, and also acts as our homework club. We've moved reading increasingly online. We've got a, an online provision for students to access via their iPads, but we also want them to actually pick up some real books and magazines as well. Well, sport plays a huge part in the life of uh, the Crip School and all pupils will enjoy their sport. There's a wide variety of sport on offer. There's something for everyone, in fact, and we've got some really great facilities. We've got our fully equipped gym, our newly refurbished sports hall. We've got our outside tennis and netball courts. We've got access to an all-weather athletics track and we have sit in about 30 acres of grounds, which plenty of rugby pitches, football pitches, and of course cricket as well. So there's something for everyone to enjoy and participate in at the Crip School. All students in year seven to nine will take part in drama lessons, which builds confidence and allows them to engage with plays, for example, and some quite challenging ideas often. 
and each year we hold a hall school production which is usually a musical in combination with the music department and students get involved in acting and singing but also in backstage makeup and lighting and so on and students really enjoy those opportunities. Welcome to our music area and the director of music would say that music is the beating heart of the school and that's absolutely true and all students in year seven to nine study music, many study an instrument, we've got ensembles and choir and orchestra and bands and there's so much to do and each term we hold a concert and each year at our Founders Day service in the cathedral the orchestra and choir play an absolutely key role in the success of that magnificent occasion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the school and our real purpose and aim here at the Crips School is to provide an environment in which every young person can flourish, flourish in whatever they wish to do and ultimately leave us, I think, with the right blend of skills and personal qualities and educational attainment and friendships and sense of care that will ensure that they flourish also in their later adult lives. Thank you very much indeed and we look forward to seeing you at the Crips School in the future.